Problem 14. There are 20 cities in the county of Newton. Their populations are shown in the bar chart below. The average population of all the citizens is indicated by the horizontal dashed line. Which of the following is the closest to the total population of all 20 cities? So first of all, we must understand the definition of an average. What does it mean for there to be the average population? <coughs> well, from the scenario given, the average population would be the population, right? Or, or let me just write in sigma notation. It would be the summation of the first city, so city number one, right, all the way until city number n of their respective populations, right, population n or population city, summed together. And then we must divide this or divide this by one over n. Or in other words, it's the population of every single city summed together divided by the number of cities present. So from this expression, how do we solve for this question? Well, we know that there are 20 cities. So there's x1 or let's do P1 to represent population, right? We have, we have P1 plus P2 plus P3. And we have all the way until P20. We have 20 cities with 20 individual populations. And we divide this by 20. And this average gives us this dashed line. So let's approximate what that dashed line is because we have this um, number line after all. Well, every tick mark, there's one, two, three, four. So, and the space is 2,000. So 2,000 divided by 4 will give you 500. In other words, every tick represents 500. And let's see if that's, that's true. That's 4,500, 5,000, 5,500, and 6,000. Correct. So every tick. So one tick is equal to 500. Right? We add 500 more. So um, I made it a little bit messy. So let me just backtrack until I can get rid of those circles. All right. So we have every tick could be 500. So one tick is plus 500. Right? So this is 4,500. And this is 5,000. And it looks like it's in the smack dab between 4,500 and 5,000. It's between there. So it's the middle It's the middle number. So how do you find the midpoint? Well, that's just 4,500 plus 5,000 divided by 2. So that's 9,500 0, 0 divided by 2, which is 4,750. So that's the average. So this must be equal to 4,750. But wait a minute. What do you notice about this expression? <coughs> What you notice here is that we're trying to find the total population. Well, the total population is just a summation of P1 all the way to P20. So if we just multiply the average with the number of cities present, we get the answer. So what is 4750 times 20? Notice how much quicker it is than to count you know, every single city right here. That would be a very large waste of time. So just by understanding definitions alone, you can get very far in competitive math. But anyway, back to this question. What is this answer? Well, 475 times 2 is 0, 5, 9. It's equal to 950. But I purposely did not include this 0 and this 0. So we must add it back in. 0, 0. So the approximate answer is 95,000, bringing you to answer choice D.